All right, the big story, obviously, is still Tom Brady leaving New England. Uh, it's not official that he has signed with Tampa Bay, but everything is leaning that way, two years, $60 million. Uh, WEEI is a uh, sports radio station in Boston, and listen to this EEI caller who was upset that Brady is gone. I want them to fall flat on their ass, 0-16. I'm going to root every week for them to lose. And wherever Brady goes, I'm going with my guy. I don't care. I am so pissed right now, so agitated. Michelle, who do you blame? Uh, I blame Be Belichick and Kraft. So, Kraft, I hope you get screwed with the Florida thing now, too. That's how pissed I am right now. <laughs> I hope it comes to bite him in the ass. That's what you get. Come as a you know what they say? Um, do you think he would ever go to Cleveland? Okay, <laughs> She's in the life. Oh, I love her. <laughs> Seriously. Cam <laughs> is a uh, I needed that. I, I'll tell you what, though, uh, what happened at Orchids of, of Asia, n neither of the two things that she mentioned I think were available there. That's mm -hmm. not on the list. Imagine this team's gone to the Super Bowl nine oh. times in 20 years, won six of them, and Tom Brady leaves, and that's your reaction? You, you're you know not why? a fan anymore? And you, watch, if they, if they get out to an 8-0 start, she'll be a Patriot fan. And, and I will fight any Bostonian that disagrees with me. And I I've been wait. saying this for years, guys. It's such a fraud fan base. Because, Michael, you know the history. They were the fourth team in town. No one cared about the Patriots. Oh, yeah. It was about, it was about the Red Sox, the Bruins, the Celtics. They didn't care about the Patriots. They played in Foxborough. They were the team that you forgot about. All right? They went to the Super Bowl, got killed by the Bears, and then Parcells came, and then there started to be a groundswell. But it really started to happen with Brady. And then they started winning, and then all of a sudden they started to sell out, and all of a sudden they became relevant. But in the fabric of that town, the Patriot phenomenon is relatively new. No, it's brand and new. As soon, and as soon as Brady's gone and Belichick is gone, they're going to go right back to what they were before, the team that nobody cares about. It's not a football town. All of their younger fans, I'm not going to alienate the older fans that might have been diehard, but the phenomenon that is the, Boston, the New England Patriots in Boston is brand spanking new, and once Brady's gone now, you're going to see their relevancy is going to start to no. fall to number four like no, it always I disagree will. with you, Don. It's I think you have one years part. that you've, you've gotten a whole generation. Right. I was going to say, Don, the one part now. I agreed with you at first, but you actually kind of have it backwards in the sense that I have no respect for the older fan base. The older fan base was irrelevant. I was in Boston all the time visiting my family. That's why I'm a Celtics fan. And you would go in the news, look in the newspapers. There was nothing about the Patriots. They were completely irrelevant. So the old fans don't have well, a kick coming. But the new fans, Don, if you're a 22-year-old, you might believe this is just the culture of your city and you're going to have it for yeah, the rest no, but, of your life. But I think they'll start to see. Because where do you get it from? When I say older fans, I'm talking about like, the, like they went back to the AFL days. I mean, I'm not saying they don't have fans that cared about them even back in the days where where their, their, their best player was Nick Bonacani, okay? I'm talking about that. But most of it comes from your father and your relatives. And, and so your dad probably got jumped on the bandwagon because they started winning. Th those young, those 20-somethings. Yeah, but that's all these kids know, Don. Yeah, but those 20-somethings. Uh, uh, a 30-year-old, that's all they know. It yeah, but doesn't then, matter but, what their father. Nah, but, I, you're not losing those fans. Well, wait I a think minute. football is now embedded in, in New England. Well, we'll see. If they start losing and then they become irrelevant again, because I don't think they'll be irrelevant with Bill still there, but once Bill's gone, because he's already like 68 years old, and they just become this average franchise that loses a bunch of times, you know, that, that yeah, the 20 well, maybe somethings. Maybe they will hire Bill's son. Well, the 20 somethings, I... most of the younger fans, Peter, you know this, kind of gravitate to what's the thing. You know, when they once they don't become the thing anymore because they don't have the history of the other three teams in town. And by the way, those three teams are also very good, but right? The Red now... Sox have won recently. The Bruins can win the Stanley Cup this year if there is one. You know, so once somebody else starts winning again, believe me, they, they will drop in the um, interest in Boston. 